Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, mga scientistic students. Yes, mga anak, tama po ang inyong narinig. Kayo po mula ngayon ay tatawagin kong scientistic students. Welcome to the world of Core 009 Physical Science. And before we move on, on our main agenda for this week, ipapakilala ko muna sa inyong mga anak ang aking binanggit during our virtual orientation na aking kasama lagi sa pagtuturo po ng math and science ang aking palaging kakolab sa pagtuturo no other than Ma'am Christine Joy Mulina. <laughs> Nakasama. Thank you so much. Sa haba ng introduction mo, pwede na tayong mag-goodbye. Uh, goodbye class. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi everyone. Hi Scientastic student. Yes, Ayan. di ba? Ganda na mga pangalan nila. Oo. Ayaw matalo ko, ng science, ah. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Kaya sabi ko sa kanila, um, i-enjoy lang natin ang subject na ito habang tayo ay natututo. Yes. Let's not make things complicated. Pwede naman yun, di ba, ma'am Tintin? Yes, mas marami tayong matututunan kapag magaan lang, mm -hmm. kapag masaya lang. At saka baka nagtataka sila, ba't di sila nagpapakita? Pangit po kasi kami <laughs> sa video. <laughs> Ay, grabe yung tapok ko. Baka kasi, baka kasi masiring video kapag meron na kaming sinalpak na mukha. Oo, kaya, kaya boses lang sa ang ngayon, labanan. boses lang muna ang labanan niya. <laughs> Ayan, okay, bawi let's... na lang sila sa virtual. <laughs> bawi na lang kayo next time ulit. <laughs> okay, and for that mga anak ko, let's proceed on our main agenda for today. But before that... Yes, magkakaroon muna tayo ng words of faith. Ayan, at ang napili natin ngayong week na ito ay Make each day your masterpiece. Bakit nga ba masterpiece, Sir Jason? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> <laughs> I-google nila. <laughs> I-google nila. <laughs> Hindi. Kaya natin siya tinawag na masterpiece kasi every day we have a choice. Pwede nating piliin maging masaya every day. Pwede nating piliing maging uh, okay palagi, di ba? Okay. And aside from that, gawin mo yung best mong gawin ngayong araw na ito. Parang ganon. Ayan. <laughs> And ano ba, ano ba nga ba yung sinabi ni Google? <laughs> Hindi, marami pa siyang ginasinabi ka. Hindi ko na na-memorize. <laughs> Ayan. Basta, every day, let's make everything out of it. Di ba? Yes. That is our words of faith for this week. Okay? Ayan. Okay, what you are doing right now to the best of your ability. Something like that. Uh -oh. Okay. So give it your best palagi. And it is about recognizing that nothing can be done about what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. okay? and, that, and that you can and that you can only affect what will happen tomorrow by but by what you do today. Okay, yun ang palagi nating tatandaan. Uh -huh. Di ba mga words of faith pa lang, busog na busog na sila. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, let us proceed with our yeah, module 1. Tayo agad agad. And our module 1 is all about relating the four subfields of physical science. Ano-ano nga ba yung four subfields na yun? But first, Alamin muna natin kung ano yung objectives natin. We have two first. is to relate the four subfields of physical science. Sumasabay ka talaga sa akin yung energy. <laughs> And the second one is to discuss the interrelationship among the four areas of physical science. Ayan. Anong mauna? Okay. okay. Ito yung sub, ano yung four categories of physical science. We have, ayan, astronomy. We have chemistry. Physics. And, and earth, earth science. science. So, dyan po, iikot ang ating physical science. Yes. Four subcategories and each of them is meron din kanya-kanyang subcategories pa. Yes, at meron yan. Ayan. Let's Unahin start si with chemistry. Mabintin, go. When we say chemistry, it is the studies, the composition, structure, properties, and change of matter. In this realm, Chemistry deals with such topics as the properties of individual atoms, the manners in which atoms form chemical bonds in the formation of compounds, the interaction of substances through intermolecular forces to give matter its general properties, and the interactions between substances, substances through chemical reactions to form different substances. Okay. So, in other words... To explain further about chemistry, ma'am, chemistry is the study of matter. What it consists of, 
what yes. its properties are yes. and how it changes. Take note, students, that being able to describe the ingredients in a cake and how they change when the cake is baked is called chemistry. Yes, so sa simple baking pa lang makikitaan na natin siya ng chemistry. Kung pa paano nga ba nag-change. Oo. Oh, oh. Kung ano nga ba yung properties na nagbago sa kanya. Yan. Okay, take note so, also ma'am, nabanggit niya ang matter dyan. When we say matter, is anything that has mass and takes up space. Alam natin yun. Yes. That is, Anything that is physically real, for some things are easily identified as matter. For example, meron tayong hawak ng libro. Okay? Uh -huh. Others are not so obvious because we move so easily through the air. We sometimes forget that it too is matter. Uh, so, lahat ang nangyayari sa paligid is actually... Lahat is related. Mm, okay. Hindi man natin alam, pero lahat yan merong kinalaman din sa chemistry. Okay. Next! Ah, yan pa pala yung branches of chemistry natin. So, meron tayong tinatawag na organic, inorganic, analytical, biochemistry, and physical. physical. Okay, let's start with organic. Kapag sinabi okay, natin organic, organic ma'am, the examples includes gasoline, plastics, detergents, mm, okay. dyes, food additives, natural gas, and medicine. So, those are examples the example of, of organic. organic. Okay? Yun ang tinatawag natin, organic. And when we say organic, ma'am... Inorganic. When we say inorganic, um, examples of common everyday inorganic compounds are water, sodium chloride, or yung asin. Mm -hmm. Tama? Natin. Sodium bicarbonate, or yung baking, baking soda, soda, calcium carbonate, or yung mga dietary calcium sa ginagamit natin, and muriatic acid. So, oh, those are some ang examples ang... of inorganic. Chemistry. And when we say analytical, ma'am, ito naman yung mga gas chromatography na tinatawag natin. Ito yung mga mass impectrometry na tinatawag. Oh, okay. Ang lalim, ma'am. Ang lalim-lalim na yan. Ma'am, natututunan din natin lahat yan sa mga susunod Yes, na, no? okay. And biochemistry. Ano naman yung mga biochemistry? It may be used to study the properties of biological molecules. Okay. So, mga molecules, mga atoms, siguro, mga ganyan, For example, no? a, bio a biochemist may study the characteristic of the keratin in hair so that shampoo may be developed that enhances curliness or, or softness. softness. Okay, so yun pala yun. So, biochemist finds uses for biomolecules. Next, we have physical. physical. Tinatawag okay, din po natin yan as thermodynamics. <laughs> Pasensya na, kalimutan ko rin, gumakontrol. <laughs> physical chemistry is a branch of chemistry that deals with the physical structure and chemistry compounds, the way they react with other matter and the band that hold their atoms together. Okay. An example of physical chemistry is? Nitric acid, yun example yun ma'am. Mm. Eating through wood, yun okay. mga yun. So yun ang mga physical chemistry. Okay, so organic, inorganic, analytical, biochemistry, and physical. physical. Again, those are the branches of chemistry. Okay, next naman, we have... Let's move on to physics. Yeah. Ano bang tinatawag natin physics? Okay. When we say physics, it is a natural and physical science that involves the study of matter pa rin. And its motion through space and time, along with related concepts such as energy and force. More broadly, it is the general analysis of nature conducted in order to understand how the universe oh. behaves. Wow! So, physics, okay, is very important in order for us to understand how the universe behaves. Yes. So, that's, that, that is physics. And we have the sub-fields sub of physics. Sub Under physics, first, we have mechanics, thermodynamics, and Electricity. And take note, ma'am, that under mechanics, meron da ulit dalawang subfields. And the subfields are statics and dynamics. dynamics. And under dynamics, we have also two subcategories. We have kinematics and kinetics. And under kinetics, meron din po ulit Wala. yung tatak <laughs> ng... Ano ito? <laughs> ng desktop. <laughs> Joke lang yun, mga anak. May may singyat lang, oo. So, th yes. that is physics, magtintin. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, malawak din ang physics, actually. Uh, so, lahat yan, under ng physics. Moving on. Ayun. Ayan. Earth science or geology, all embarrassing term referring to the field of science dealing with planet Earth. Earth yeah. science is the study of how the natural environment works 
and how it, how it evolved to its current state. It includes the study of the atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, and biosphere. Oh, yeah. So, in general use, the term earth science often includes the study of the earth as atmosphere, gaya ng nabanggit dyan. So, the water flowing on and beneath the surface of con continents and the earth, seas, and oceans. Ayan. Oh. So, yung mga Ah, uh, yung mga for example, changes sa paligid natin, kagaya ng pag-ulan, sobrang mainit na panahon, mga ganoon. Mga pagkidlat, yes. so that is part <laughs> Lahat of yan related kay earth science. science. So, kaya nga siya earth. Kasi nga in general earth siya. Okay. Lahat na nangyayari sa earth. Ganun. Yes. And uh, under physical science, eto Before. na nga. Sabi natin lahat na involve kay earth. Geology, meteorology, oceanography, astronomy, and astronomy. Anything na related sa mga apat na yan is under ng earth science. Let's start with geology. Okay, mamaya muna yan. Geology yeah. muna tayo. When we say ge geology, ma'am, an example of that, ay, ang geology, ma'am, kasi is study of rocks and stones. Mm. So, an example of geology is learning about how the earth was formed. Ayaw. The study of the origin history and structure of the earth okay the scientific study of the origin history and structure of the solid matter of a celestial body yun na tinatawag natin wow. geology okay? how about meteorology so meteorology is the study of the earth at atmosphere and the variations in the temperature and moisture patterns that produce different weather conditions Yan yung mga kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng tinatawag natin ng low pressure area. Mm, yun yung mga tinatawag na ma'am. Yeah. Uh, some of the major subjects of study are such phenomena as precipitation, yun yung, yung rain, rain snow, or snow, thunderstorms, thunderstorms tornadoes, and hurricanes and typhoons. Yes. Okay. And kung titignan natin sa Pilipinas, medyo okay pa kasi ang nararanasan lang natin mostly is bagyo. Oh. And compared to abroad, Grabe Other countries, mga... tornadoes, yes. mga yan na. Okay, so wag naman natano at sara tayo. Ano. Let's move on to oceanography. Okay? So, wag sinabi naman natin oceanography, ma'am. From Kitin. the word itself. Yes, from the word itself, ocean. Ano it is the study of all things related to the ocean. Si Dugong. <laughs> Ay, di ba? <laughs> Waves kasi yung tinutukoy ko. An example of oceanography <laughs> is the study of how waves form. Ayan. The exploration and scientific study of the ocean and its phenomena. And the study of the environment in the oceans, including the waters, depths, depths beds, beds, animals, animals plants, plants, lahat ng pwede ninyong makita sa so, ocean. Animal si Dugong. Animal <laughs> <laughs> si Dugong. Oh. <laughs> Grabe ka kay Dugong talaga. And Next, the, the last is the astronomy. astronomy. So astronomy is the study of objects and phenomena beyond Earth. Whereas, cosmology is a branch of astronomy that studies the origin of the universe and how it has evolved. Dito na pumapasok, ma'am, yung mga example natin mga na theories. the Big Bang, yes. the origin of the chemical elements, and the cosmic microwave, microwave background backward. are all subjects of cosmology. Oh, diba? Okay, and that is the four branches of word science again. We Geology, have... meteorology, oceanology, and astronomy. Okay, moving on, Ma'am Tintin, let's emphasize astronomy. astronomy. Sabi okay. ko nga kanina habang ginagawa natin Ganda ito, ang ganda naman ang napili natin kay Oh, di ba? Diyan pala, panalong-panalong na sila. So, astronomy is the study of celestial objects such as stars, yes. galaxies, planets, moons, moons asteroids, asteroids, comets, and nebulae. nebulae the physics chemistry and evolution of such objects and phenomena that originate outside the atmosphere of earth including supernova explosions gamma ray bursts and cosmic microwave background radiation napaka exciting ng physical science yes. kasi ang dami dami nating mapag-aaralan napakalawak niya yes and excited din tayo kasi napakarami nating matututunan at excited din tayo kasi marami tayong mabibigyan ng aral yes. ng mga estudyante true okay and that is astronomy okay we have 
uh, under astronomy, ma'am, meron, meron tayong tayo astrophysics. Okay, yeah. yeah. kapag sinabi natin astrophysics, andyan yung cosmology, cosmology. spectroscopy, photometry, mm -hmm. astero-seismology, <laughs> helio-seismology, solar physics, and helio Physics. Kaya kita hinayaan magbasa <laughs> kahit hindi ko kaya basahin yung mga <laughs> So number two is the astrometry. Okay, under astrometry, nandyan yung planetology, exoplanetology. Oo, oh, ang dali nung uh, sa'yo. No, mas malali sa akin. And third, astrogeology, areogeology, ay sorry, nasabrahan. Areology, selenography, exogeology, planetary geology. And astrobiology, nandiyan yung exobiology, <laughs> astroecology, astrochemistry. <laughs> Ayan. So, under astronomy, meron tayong apat naman na subcategory. Okay, ma'am. Take a look at these students. Wow. Mga anak. For Ay, your attendance this na. week, okay, I want you to answer this question. How are you going to relate the importance of the four areas of physical science in your life as a student? Ko yung mga ganyan. Okay. Will you please repeat, ma'am? How are you going to relate the importance of the four areas of physical science in your life? Again, for your attendance, Sir Jason wants to share your answer sa inyo group chat. Okay. Ayan. Okay, maraming maraming so, salamat, Ma'am Tintin, for joining with oh, us naman. this week. Parang And hindi lang dito natatapos, weekly ito. <laughs> Oo, kaya pag, pagsawaan nyo pong aming mga bosses, <laughs> mga anak. Ayan. Okay, that's all for module 1. Thank you. Mag-aral mabuti mga anak. Lagi nating tatandaan na lahat ay magiging mahirap. Pero lahat yan ay ating kakayanin dahil lahat tayo ay isang scientific student. If you have any questions, feel free na message to Sir Jason always. Bye everyone! Bye everyone!